baseball's future stars will be on display as the show's coverage of the Double A South is on the air tonight. The first of this three-game weekend series between the Tennessee Smokies and the Rocket City Trash Pandas. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Steve Resch gets the call for game one of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Wow, talk about a number that jumps out at you. This guy's whip, which is walks to hits to innings pitch, is less than one coming into this start. That's not an easy thing to do. That tells me one thing. Not only is his stuff good, but he wipes out. And now in the box, Gene Templeton. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The left fielder. Gene. Now here's the pitch. One Hard run. hit ball to short. Fielded cleanly. And that's the first out. So one down, no one aboard. And up next is Jared Ono. Now here's the first offering. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Well, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this team's in the grind part of their schedule right now. Just had a short homestand, able to say hello to the family, kiss the wife, tuck the kids in at night, and they're back on the road again. This should be interesting to see the energy this team plays with today. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Jared Ono becomes the second out of the bottom of the first. Into the box, Gareth Morgan. He grounds it sharply to third. Scooped up over to first, and that retires the side. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Last half of the second set to go, and now it'll be the catcher, Lane Huffman. Swing and a miss, 0-1. And it's one and one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you can spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Chris Gill is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Now a changeup, but it misses just a little below the zone. Gill, a California-born ball player, is primarily a catcher, but he's manning first base in this one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start, and I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he good. sent down via the strikeout. Shortstop. Brendan Davis is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's 1-1. One and one. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. And he popped him up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw into second. And he's safe. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscled the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. Kevin Maiton is next as he finds himself behind 0 1. Amaya has a play, and that will end the inning. Two out double left stranded. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Bottom of the third now, and standing in the outfielder, Ray Patrick Bitter. In there at the knees, strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence, he's got great body language on the mound, he's got fastball command, and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. And he fouls this one off. 
Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Cody Shepard stands in as he looks at a called strike. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, lot. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. Last pitch was a fastball. Tries to double up with the same piece of cheese, and it gets turned around. Nice piece of hit. Gene Templeton is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. At strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. In today's game, we're seeing so many guys strike out and not worry about it. I'd love to see a little two-strike approach right here. Maybe shorten up a little bit and try and force-feed something the other way. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Gene Templeton becomes the second out in the bottom of the third. Rolls slowly down the first baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. 0-2. Oh here it is. Lifted down the line in left. Shepard at second with two down. Rounded weakly toward third. He's got it. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Gareth Morgan. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Here's the first pitch. Lane Huffman will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding his own. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he takes something off here as this is a lazy fly ball out to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Stepping in next, Chris Gill struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We played four full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Brendan Davis. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. Hermosillo comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first down. Digging in will be Kevin Maiton. Popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Popped up. up, 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 up. Wisdom is there for it. Got it, got it, got it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. At the plate, Ray Patrick Ditter. He'll take a look at the strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We're through five here at the ballpark, and we still have no score. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Cody Shepard. The second baseman. And now the first pitch. And that's taken for strike one. A 
swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Yeah, he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right here, pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. Martinez is there, one away. Next, it'll be Gene Templeton. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat, nothing in one. Uh, you could tell this guy's got great feel for all this stuff right now. To break out that nasty hammer right there, this guy's on point. One ball, one strike to count. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Up, up, Tough up, look pitch up. to take. I got pitch it. is popped oh, up, oh. and he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Stepping in now is Jared Ono. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. Oh no. Two out, nobody on. Oh, Fastball just misses. That's ball one. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning, one, two, three, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. This one's down to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. Seventh inning coming up, and we still have no score. So now to the plate, Gareth Morgan. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. It's coming. Here it is. Down the left field line and deep. This is why the manager pencils these guys in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Behind 0-2 now. One Not ball. close with Two that straight. one. It's way Thanks above the strike zone. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Oh. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Two and two. Uh, two, two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get now that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. One ball, no strikes to count. That's by him for strike one. Got a ball, one strike. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really one, good. One, one. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. And there's out number two. Next to hit is Chris Gill. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Fouled off. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounded in the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Behind 0-2 now. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Eighth inning coming up. The Smokies lead it one to nothing. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And stepping up is the shortstop, Brendan Davis. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. And this is popped up. Back behind second. Alcantara stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Into the box, Kevin Maiton. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Popped up. And there's out number two. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Ray Patrick Bitter is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 0. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. 
Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night. Working that outer half of the plate, that's why he's having so much success. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. So now to the plate, Cody Shepard. And the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. Ditter, the runner at first with two gone. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We've played eight full. The Smokies are on top, one to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Gene Templeton. The left fielder, Gene Templeton. Here's the first pitch. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. On the ground to the right side. Throw on to first in time, one away. Next up is Jared Ono. He bounced out last time up. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Siffle is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. So next to bat will be Gareth Morgan. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. He makes the catch, and they have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Tennessee Smokies jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Eddie James earns win number four on the season, and it's a dandy, a complete game, three-hit performance. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com. Three hits, no errors. They left three men on base.